I haven't had a naughty little sister story for a few days, so I'm going to read you another naughty little sister story. This one is called The Fairy Doll. I brought my big teddy back. He's going to sit and listen as well, aren't you? Behave yourself. You can join him. When I was a little girl, I had a fairy doll that was so beautiful that I never wanted to play with it. It had real shiny wings and a shiny crown and a fairy wand and a sticking out dress with gold stars on it and it shut its eyes when you laid it down and it opened them when you stood it up and it said, Mama, if you tipped it forwards. It was so beautiful that I kept it in its box, wrapped in white paper in the drawer of my mother's wardrobe. I used to go and peep at it whenever I specially wanted to. Well now, my naughty little sister had a doll too. Her doll was a very poor old thing with no eyes left and its nose rubbed off. My naughty little sister called her, do her doll Rosie Primrose. My little sister used to take Rosie Primrose to bed with her. But sometimes, when my naughty little sister was cross, she would smack poor Rosie Primrose and throw her out of bed. One day, when my naughty little sister threw Rosie Primrose out of bed, my mother said, I think I shall take that poor old doll downstairs and put her in the cupboard until you can be kind to her. But my naughty little sister said, won't be kind to her. So my mother put Rosie Primrose away in the cupboard for a rest. Now, what do you think? The very next day, when my mother was doing the ironing, she suddenly said, where is that naughty little girl? Where is that naughty sister of yours? I expect she's in mischief because she's so quiet. That's what my mother said. So my mother stopped her ironing and went out into the garden to look for my little sister. But she wasn't in the garden. My mother looked in the shed and she wasn't in the shed. She wasn't in the sitting room or in her bedroom or in the spare room. But when my mother peeped into her own bedroom, there was my naughty little sister looking very cross at being caught. The fairy doll's box wasn't in the wardrobe drawer either. It was on the bed. And all the white paper was all over the floor. And there was my naughty little sister holding my fairy doll and making it say, Mama, Mama, Mama. There's the picture of the fairy doll, can you see? Very pretty, there's her sticking out dress and her wand and her lovely glittering tiara. My mother was very cross. She said, that's not your doll. It belongs to your big sister. And my naughty little sister said, I want it. My mother said, put it down on the bed. And my very naughty little sister said, no. Then my mother was angry and went to take the doll away from my naughty little sister. But that bad child ran away with my lovely fairy doll and, well, you remember what she did to poor Rosie Primrose when she was cross, don't you? She did something even more dreadful to my fairy doll. She threw it out the window. That lovely, beautiful doll with the golden wings and the shiny crown and the sticking out dress with gold stars on it. My naughty little sister had to go straight to bed for that because she really had been terrible. My lovely fairy doll had fallen down into the garden, right into a muddy puddle, and its face was broken. I cried and I cried. And when my little sister saw the poor fairy doll, she cried and cried too, because she wasn't really such a bad child as all that. 
She just threw the doll out of the window when she was being mischievous. My naughty little sister was so very sorry that we all forgave her. And my mother said that if she promised to be kind in future, she could have rosy primrose back very soon. So my sister promised hard. And do you know what my kind mother did? She sent the poor fairy doll to the doll's hospital. And she sent rosy primrose there too. And when the two dolls came back, they looked very nice. My little sister was a bit sorry to see Rosie Primrose because Rosie Primrose had a nice face and some curly hair that hadn't been there for quite a long time. My little sister never was quite happy with the tidy Rosie Primrose until it lost all its hair again and its new eyes fell in. But she was always kind to her after that. I was glad about the fairy doll though because it wasn't a fairy doll anymore after the window fall. It had a pretty new face and a nice smile with teeth showing and it still shut its eyes when you laid it down and it still said, Mama. But the fairy clothes had all been spoiled in the muddy puddle. So my mother made a nice yellow dress and bonnet and a white apron and I called it Annabella. And now that its clothes were not so grand, I could play with it whenever I wanted to. So really, that fairy doll's window fall wasn't so terribly dreadful after all. What did you think of that one, Ted? Did you like that one? Yeah, Ted liked that one too. So we'll see which story we're going to have tomorrow. It'll be a surprise. Night-night. <laughs>